hey, have you guys ever done this? Have you ever gotten a phone call that was a wrong number and just for a minute you think maybe this is the right number and I have multiple personalities? <laughs> I know the other day I got a phone call. Hi, we were calling to see if Mary enjoyed her stay at the Bellagio. And I was like, Mary went to Vegas. She has all the fun. <laughs> the other night I got a phone call and there were so many numbers across the front of the screen. I thought I better answer this because it could be from the future. <laughs> Turns out it was a Japanese robo call. So either I'm being contacted by Japanese computers in the future, or I just bought a timeshare in Nagasaki. Uh, one of those things happened. So I, uh, I'm not a good driver. Uh, I hate driving. I was driving over here and I changed lanes and some guy yelled, hey, your blinker wasn't on. And I yelled, don't worry, neither are my glasses. Uh, <laughs> I can't see anything. I don't know anything about cars. All I know is I'm glad they stopped making that Hummer car. Yeah, that's a war vehicle. Folks, if you need a war vehicle to get around town, maybe you should work on your people skills. <laughs> and I don't know if I'm supposed to be afraid of a guy driving a Hummer, because I'm not. I'm more afraid of a guy driving a 1990 Geo Metro, because that guy has nothing to lose. <laughs> He has no job, he has no girlfriend. He has made a big mistake and is sticking with it. And all I know about cars are that men are waiting for them to break down. They're always checking fluids and oils and air and women think cars should run forever. I'm in complete denial about my car. People are like, hey, what's that light on your dashboard? And I'm like, that is for when I'm too hard on myself. It reminds me to take a break. And oh look, the little teapot came on. That means we're near a Starbucks. <laughs> I don't even know what that check engine light. That's like, guess how many jelly beans are in the jar? I have no idea. <laughs> but I always pull over and pop the hood like it's something I'll see right away. Like, oh look, a zipper was down. <laughs> And I was driving a while and I hit a deer. How many people by round of applause have ever hit a deer when they were driving? Woo! Right? I can't believe how fast it happened. Here it is in slow motion. No deer on the hood, deer on the hood. That's how it happened. <laughs> and it wasn't a very smart deer because it wasn't anywhere near the deer crossing signs. Uh, <laughs> and if they're not gonna put those up, I don't know what if they're not reading them. And then someone said to me, you know, the deer are hypnotized by the headlights. And I thought, well, that can't be true, because you know if you could hypnotize a deer, some redneck would have a house full of them. <laughs> doing laundry and ironing. A little skirt. Uh, I can't remember anything. I'm so paranoid all of a sudden. The other day I was sure the aliens had implanted a tracking device in me, uh, but it just turned out to be a loose Frito in my underwear. <laughs> so now I have to figure out why the aliens are putting Fritos in my underwear. That's terrifying. I was at a UFO convention, you know, and this lady comes up to me and she goes, you have alien DNA. And I said, tell me more. <laughs> and she said, there's a race of aliens. They're called Palladians. They're a peace loving people with smooth skin and they're beautiful. You're not one of those. <laughs> Apparently, I'm from Orion. She said, actually, you are a captain in the Orion Interplanetary Army. And I said, finally, someone has taken me seriously. <laughs> so I immediately called my sister and said, hey, I just found out I'm a captain in the Orion Interplanetary Army. And she said, Orion is a constellation, not a planet. And I said, really? That's all you saw wrong with that statement? <laughs>